Hey team leaders, you ever heard this one? Oh, why don't they just get it? I mean, come on. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. And they just, it just is going over their head. I'm gonna walk you through a couple of nuggets here today that's gonna help you get back on track, help you get some clarity, help you get some sanity, be able to get in a position where you can take massive, massive action. Hey, this is Jason Brown with Real Estate Speed School. We are here to help you double your business in the next 90 days. Whether that's going from 15 home sales per year to 30 or 30 to 60 or 60 to the moon, it doesn't matter. Or maybe you're a team leader and you're looking for guidance and help and growing and building your business. And, and maybe you're at 10 million, you want to go to 20 million. Well, stay tuned right here. We're going to walk you through some really good stuff. Uh, Real Estate Speed School is designed to do one thing, to accelerate as fast as we can your growth. There's only one way to grow, and that's fast, because growing slow is painful. So how can we do that? Well, we got to get clear here. Here's the thing. Are we specific in our plan? This is one of the, the Achilles heels of most businesses that I've worked with all throughout the United States. The team leader is clear, but no one else is. So are we clear as a team, as a unit? Have we communicated properly to our team where we're going? And a lot of times I find out the answer is no. And the reason that you're having that frustration is why don't they get it is because you haven't been clear. You gotta have that same page meeting. You gotta have that time. It may be one-on-one, -on -one, but as a team and go over and talk to them and, and explain in detail with clarity, the vision and where this organization is going. So another one I see that's a frustrating is okay, maybe we got that one down, but now here's where we're, here's where we're frustrated. We're measuring, but we're measuring the wrong things. A lot of the co companies and people that I've coached over the years, when I look at what they're measuring, they're measuring this thing called a lag measure, which means you're dead, your battleship is sunk before you realized what in the world was going on. It is a measure in which we need to have, but there's a one that needs to come before that. That's what we call the lead measure. The lead measure is the activities that take place in order to help us get to the overall target or goal. And then we need to make sure we're measuring the right things, right? And so within real estate, one of the things we look at is, well, we wanna look at dials, we wanna look at contacts, we're gonna look at face-to-face -face conversion of appointments, listing appointments to what? Listings taken. Listings taken to listings closed. Buyer contracts signed to buyers closed. And those measurements can give us a really, really predictable um, you know, predictable revenue, but also just help us predict the future of our agents and where they're heading and where they're going. Well, they haven't been in real estate long enough to know. They, they don't know. They're just, well, some of them, unfortunately, it's the blind leading the blind. I had a conversation with an agent not too long ago, and I said, you know, who, who is training you? Who's your mentor? And she's like, well, there's this other girl that started at the same time I did. And I was like, wow, that's scary. You've got two new people, super, super sharp, have no clue what they're doing though. And and they need they need guidance, they need leadership, they need they need a mentor, they need somebody to grab them, you know, by the reins and help them figure this thing out and know what to measure and know what their conversion is. There's so much power in knowing your numbers. When I can sit down on the telephone and know that if I pick this phone up and dial it 80 times, whether somebody answered the phone or did not answer the phone doesn't matter because I'm getting paid X, Y, Z per dial, a dollar, three dollars, five dollars, depending on what your market is. For every conversation I have, I know it's 58 bucks. Every time I'm on the, on the phone, it's $350 an hour. Um, in conversion time based on what the close rate I have. So these are key things. How can we identify some of this frustration? And so maybe we weren't specific. Well, let's, let's look at a real basic thing, core values. Do you have them, first of all? Um, so you should as a, as a business, that, but even as an individual, if you're just a solo agent, you have some core values. Uh, they keep you grounded, they keep you focused, they help you direct your business. If you have core values as an independent contractor, as a solo agent, and then you start to build a team, it's really easy to transfer those core values that you've established into your team members as you grow. And so I highly encourage you to look at core values as a great principle and way to run your business. It's a great way to hire to. It's a great way to fire to. This way you do, you know, nobody's taking it personal. If you have to let them go, it's just simply, you know, we look at the core values and, and if you're no longer a match to the core value and, or you're not willing to adhere to this core value, well, then then somebody's got to leave, right? And, and it's probably not the guy that's running the team. And so core values are great. They also help you build a culture within your business because when you have core, core values and you're hiring to those core values, guess what? You're getting a synergy of people that, that believe the same thing. They're, they're willing to commit 
to the same thing. And that is a very powerful culture built within any, any organization. Now vision, vision is one I love because, uh, well, I'm a visionary for one, but I love it because it's that mountaintop, right? It's that thing that can help grow and expand and really stretch people, which some people like to be stressed, some don't. I like to be around people like to be stressed. I like to be around people It's like, here is my target for the year, but here's my stretch target. Here's my one more 20 yard sprint target. And so having a clear vision as to where you're going can help with that frustration as to why don't they get it? Well, maybe they don't get it because you're not leading them through core values. You're not leading them through vision. They're not, they're not clear on where the company's going. They're, they're showing up every day and, and feel like, well, we, we sell real estate. Well, that is true. That is, a, that is a piece of it. But where are we going? What is the core of our culture? And what is the vision uh, you know, of the company? Where are we going? And what is our milestones? And what is our stretch milestones? What is our stretch vision? And I tell you, when you start to build a team and a culture uh, around that, man, the sky's the limit. It's exciting. The last one, this is the most freeing thing that we have. This is one of our core values, 100-0, meaning you own it. 100% ownership, zero excuses, no victims. It's 100% your fault, whatever happens. And so that's a tough one for some. But I tell you, if you build a culture and a team of people around 100% responsibility, zero excuses, you are living in utopia, my friends. It's exciting. It's fun. It's, it's like everything you've ever wanted in a, in a, in a business, in a life, in a, in, a, in a whatever it is. Maybe you're just an employee within a team like that. But when everybody within the team can take 100% ownership, no excuses, no pointing fingers, no take, you know, no pushing the blame off on somebody else. Because 99% of the time when I see someone pushing the blame, it's, it's typically they're deflecting because the proper expectations were not set in place from the front. I would encourage you to look at 100-0. It's the, one of the most powerful core values that we have. It really creates a culture of leaders, of people that are willing to own it. They're showing up every day. They're owning what they're doing, taking full responsibility. And you as an independent contractor, that'd be a great first core value for you. If you're just by yourself, you don't have anybody coaching you, teaching you, or mentoring you, 100-0 can set you free as well. If this is Real Estate Speed School. Our one purpose here is to bring more value on social media through real estate than anywhere else you can go. But a lot of our stuff transfers over to mortgage and, and title and, and insurance. So it does, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're not in the real estate business or maybe you'd like to get in the real estate business. Keep following us right here on Real Estate Speed School. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like it, Facebook, all that, because that way you'll get notifications. We're dropping content here all the time. And until next time, my friends, be legendary and be great.